when we onboard fintech companies here at Lego, they all want to build like Stripe. They want to take a cut on the revenue for each single recorded transaction. This is called a per transaction pricing. You recall the transaction and immediately after you charge for a percentage and a fixed fee. Here, if we take the example of Stripe cards payments, what we have is 2.9% and 30 cents after each successful charge for a domestic card. And it's immediately recorded after the transaction. And if we take a look at other types of, uh, of products they have, it's exactly the same. For a CIPA direct debit, after each recorded transaction, Stripe takes a cut of 0.8% plus 30 cents on each transaction. And that's exactly what we want to replicate today within Lego. I want to show you how FinTech bills their customer with Lego by using per transaction pricing. So I'm going to go here in my Lego account and create a first billable metric. And this billable metric will have the name of the product used by the customer. Here it's CPA Direct Debit. On top of that, so I want to charge for each single transaction a percentage out of the amount. So I'm going to use the amount with a sum aggregation type that will record the amount and we are going to take a percentage out of this amount. So let me record this billable metric and I'm going to add a second one, for example, the card payments. Here, card payments as a code. And we are going to do the same. We are going to take the amount after each single transaction. On top of that here, we have two different types of card payments. We have the first one, which is online, and the second one, which is in-person. And the pricing is different for the two of them. So we are using a great feature here called filters, and we are uh, going to differentiate the prices for the two types of card payments. The first one being the online payments and the other one being the in-person payment, all right? So this is a single event you're sending for CAD payments, but by defining the type, we will apply the right percentage. So if the billable metrics is a way to track usage for your per transaction billing, the plans here are a way to price that. So I'm gonna add a new plan. That would be, for example, a basic plan. Let's say it's just basic plan without any subscription fee, only pay as you go. I'm going to bring in my uh, transaction. So the CPA, for example, here, I'm going to use a percentage pricing because remember, we take a cut out of the revenue. So here I'm going to select the percentage pricing and this percentage pricing comes with a bunch of great features. The first one, obviously, is to be able to take a percentage, a cut on the revenue, which is here 0.8%, all right? On top of that, for each single transaction, you can take a fixed fee of here, in that case, 30 cents. So I'm going to add a fixed fee of 30 cents. So for each single transaction, you will take immediately a percentage of 0.8% and a fixed fee of 30 cents. <clears throat> On top of that, you can also use free units. You can say, for example, the first five transactions are free or the first thousand dollars of transaction are coming for free. And that's also an option here at Lego. The other option is very useful if you want to cap the pricing. So you can say, for example, I want to take 1% but out of the amount of the transaction, but I don't want to spend, I don't want my customer to spend more than $2 per transaction. So you can use a maximum spending per transaction or a minimum spending per transaction. Very useful if you want to cap the price. And on top of that, if you remember correctly, we want to take this uh, cut on the revenue immediately. So we don't want to wait end of the month to charge our customer. We want to bill them right now after each transaction. For that, we can use the pay charge in advance. It means that for any new recorded transaction, we issue the charge immediately. And the other option is we, you can turn off the invoice generation for each event. It means that for each new transaction and each new percentage you take out of that, 
it won't create an invoice. It will create a fee. You can charge this fee, but you won't get a proper invoice. That's exactly what Stripe is doing, for example. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to save this plan. To start uh, the billing, I'm going to use a customer. So I'm going to use the customer called Huli and the ID here will be this one. I'm going to create this customer and I'm going to assign the plan, the basic plan. And here I, I not changing any values. So I'm going to use this plan as is. And let's get into the analytics tab. So in the analytics tab, you have a number of units for SIPA and also uh, the revenue you make out of these transactions. I'm going to send a new event. So let's say, for example, the code here would be SIPA. There is a transaction of $200 um, and my customer is this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recall this transaction. So I recorded this event here and here immediately you have 0.8% plus 30 cents that are billed immediately. So you can see here the current usage is, um, is incrementing, right? But what's great with Lago is that you can replicate the per transaction pricing because here we don't generate invoices, but actually if you go to your webhooks messages here, we record a fee for this very specific transaction. There is a fee issued, so you can take the money directly out of the transaction without waiting for uh, the end of the month to bill your customer. And what's great also for, for FinTech is that you can estimate this um, cost. You can use the uh, estimate fees where you can just estimate the cost of a single transaction for a customer, which is also very useful. So this is how you can replicate a per transaction pricing, pricing by, by billing your customer immediately after each transaction.